studio with us, number 93, our defensive end, Dadawale Ogunlea. What's going on? We've been talking on the phone all season. This is the first time we've met. Yeah. You're yeah. saying, wow, Pete McMurray, you're in shape. You could be on our football team. <laughs> you know, you are. You're a pretty good-looking guy. <laughs> when did you graduate from uh, Indiana? I graduated in 2000. Bobby Knight there when you were there? Yep. I was, I was there when Bobby Knight was running around. You meet the general? Met him a couple times. He's a big dude, isn't he? Big. I mean, he's, just, he's the same size as you. How big is he? He might be 6'6", six, 6'5". Six, six, he's a big guy. He's very intimidating when you meet him. Really? Yeah. But I hear he's a good guy. I've inter interviewed him a few times and, you know. Great guy. I blew my knee out um, my senior year in college. And uh, one of the first people to call me in the in the hospital, in, I was in Birmingham, Alabama, was Bobby Knight. You're kidding me. Yeah, good guy. Pick up the phone and there's Coach Knight on yeah, the I other line. I couldn't believe it. Wow. But it was him. How about your football coach? Uh, I don't, you know, I was so drugged <laughs> up, but I do remember that Bobby and I called me. I really liked, you know, playing for and playing with. You know, Ron was a great defensive coordinator, uh, and Thomas was really one of my best friends on the team, if not the best friend on my t on the team. So We miss him, by the way. Yeah, well, you know, everybody's been saying that. You know, he's a guy who, who worked hard. That's the one thing I took from Thomas is hard work ethic. Since know? he's your friend, I noticed that after every game and when he did the interviews last season, he always wore the cutoff shirt. He wanted to show the... Uh, <laughs> Guns. The, yeah, the guns, right, you know? Right, well, he works hard at it, so <laughs> more power to him. And how would you compare Babbage this year to Ron Rivera last year? Um, you Our know defensive what? coordinator. It's the same defense. You know, I hope, you know, I want the fans to understand it's the same exact defense. It's just, you know, we haven't been uh, making the plays. You know, we haven't been getting interceptions. We haven't been getting turnovers. But what's the difference from last year to this year? I mean, if I you knew know, that, you, you know, that's the million-dollar you know, question, You know what? It? That's the thing that's kind of is, is baffling us right now. Same defense. You know, this is really Coach Smith's defense. This is his baby. Right. So, you know, he's here, and uh, we do have a diff different uh, defensive coordinator, but we just haven't, you know, been making the plays that we've known to, to make here in Chicago. Wow. Man, it's, uh, you know, it's tough for a fan. I can't imagine being a, uh, a member of the team. I mean, that's got to be tough. Yeah, it's very tough. You know, because we've, you know, we've always been the backbone of this, of this team, defense. And, uh, you know, there's been times this year we've played great, but, you know, more times than not, we've, We've been faltering a little bit. You're a big Zeppelin fan. Yes, I love Zeppelin. Really? Yeah. The guys in my in high school really got me on it. You know, when I was in high school, they uh, they would play it in the weight room. Actually, I don't think my high school coach more liked it than than the high school guys, but they loved it. But you don't listen to Zeppelin anymore before any games. No, because one time this actually this year, <laughs> uh, I listened to some Zeppelin. Dusty Dvorak, our defensive nose guard, had it in his iPod, and I put it on, and, and, I, and I probably had the worst. Worst game of the year so far for me, so I, I, I took him out. Yeah, that's probably a good thing. <laughs> What'd you do over break? Uh, just hung out, you know, just relaxed, got my mind right. So you didn't leave town? You didn't go to South Beach like you were talking about? No, I'm still out? here. What are you doing? You hanging out at the Woodfield Mall on a Wednesday afternoon? What's going on? No, nope. you know, I'm just really starting to really, really love Chicago, you know, and just staying here and, and trying to spend more of my free time here. Nice. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So you didn't do anything. You took it easy and mentally got prepared for the second half of exactly. the season. Exactly. Exactly. Did you watch any football on Sunday? Not at all. You're kidding. Not a drop. There were some great games. You didn't watch anything? I wanted to watch the Colts uh, Patriots game, but man, I, I just, I was just one. I wanted to deal with nothing but myself. But I'm sure you heard about the Packers, and I'm sure you heard about yeah the results yeah. of all those games. Of course, of course. But you know that doesn't matter. We've got to do something different. You don't have to worry about what they're doing. We got to do our own thing. When you worry about things beyond your control, it adversely affects the things you can control. The great John Wooden said that from UCLA. That's a good quote. Well, thank you very much. All right, you ready to take some phone calls? Yeah, let's do it. Five nine one rock. Five nine one roll. Mike, go ahead. What's your question? Yeah. You're on without a wallet. What's your question? I just want to know if I should. I'd have my pool table color in blue and orange this year. Should I turn change it to yellow and green? I don't, I don't know. Who's yellow and green? <laughs> <laughs> very, very funny, Mike. Good answer. <laughs> you're a diehard, very good. So you're not going to change the colors. I'm not going to change the no, colors. No, no way in the world. No way. All right. No way. Thanks, you man. guys keep going. Thank you. Bye right, bye. Okay, vote of confidence there. Uh, Jim, what's your question for yes, Ottawa? Go ahead. I got a question for you. Who do you guys miss the most, Thomas Jones or Ron Rivera? Oh, wow. Um, that's a tough question. One, that's a great question. Um, you know, Thomas, you know, a lot of people know Thomas was one of the, probably one of my best friends on the team. So, um, personally, I just miss him being around. But, um, you know, you, I can't even answer that question. It's a tough question. You know, Ron was, you know, was really good for us as a defensive coordinator. 
But uh, I, I also also think that you know Coach Babbage is capable of, of running the same defense we we ran last year, the same exact defense. So um, if I was to really answer that question, I'd probably say Tom is just more on a personal level, but not uh, you know with anything with. I know as a fan, I miss Thomas the most. Yeah, Thomas is a good dude. You know, he's a guy who worked hard and he always gave a hundred percent. You know, and and that's no knock at anybody on our team because we have guys that are giving a hundred percent. It's just you know things haven't been going our way. Thanks, Jim. Well, we'll next year. Thanks. Go ahead, man. What's your question? Well, Mr. Gulia, I uh, my question is uh, touching on the subject. You know, stuff that's beyond your control. Um, question is the whole punt situation. How uh, special teams aren't kicking the ball to our boy Devin Hester. I mean, how how, does, how do you guys feel about that? And I mean, what what can we do about that? Because it's special teams. You know, it's a punt return. Let let the man run. Oh well, that's you know what the the thing is, they're not kicking to him, so there's nothing he can do about it. And you know, if you were if you were a coach, you wouldn't kick to Devin Hester either. So, I think um, the thing that we need to do is whether it's punting or kickoff returns, if we have good field position, you know, offense has got to find a way to make teams pay for not kicking us the ball, and uh, and kicking and kicking it out of bounds. So when we get good field position, like on a 45 yard after kickoff return. Um, we need to go ahead and, and got to get points out of that. Hey, the loop. What's your question for uh, Ottawale? What's the transition between uh, college and football? How's it? What's the difference? The college and NFL. Yeah, college and NFL. What was the, what was the transition from to do? That's a good question. How do you, make... uh, you ready? Yeah. Yeah. The biggest difference is mental. You know, I think um, <clears throat> you know everybody has the physical capabilities to play in the league, especially in college. You play at a high level, but a lot of guys that fall to the wayside in, in the NFL are guys who are not ment mentally ready. Um, it's a faster game, but the biggest thing is, is mental, and, and, and you can't make a lot of mistakes in this league. If you do, you'll be out. Hey, Sam? Yes. What's your question? Yeah, I got a question. Now. The Bears still in playoff con um, contention. Now. I just want to know if they do make the playoffs as a wild card, what are their plans of getting guys back healthy and – can we see the same defense from last year? I mean, just giving all the takeaways. Well, I'll answer uh, the, la the latter part of your question first. Um, definitely going to see, you know, the defense that you saw last year. You know, we've, right. we're going to get a lot of our guys back healthy. Hopefully we'll get Nathan Vasher here soon. If not this week, then the following week. Um, but, you know, we can't look past, you know, Oakland Raiders. we got to look at, take it one game at a time. Can't focus on the past, can't focus on the future. All we have right now is the present, and that's what we need to do.